Hi, good evening all and thank you for joining today's exclusive webinar on HDFC AMC IPO. My name is Ashish and along with me we have Mr. Deepak Jesani who is head of our retail research team. So we have gone through the questions that all of our viewers have posted and basis that we have consolidated. Few are some basic questions wherein I will uh, in the mid of this session I will navigate you to our FAQ section where you will get the answers for that. However, we have consolidated these questions and we have made few pointers. So we will go step by step for that. So Deepak sir, can you talk us about this basic issue details of this HDFC AMC? Yeah, good evening participants and Ashish. Uh, Thank you. Now HDFC AMC is coming out with an IPO which is consisting of offer for sale by two of its largest shareholders. Uh, this IPO is of uh, 2.54 crore shares. The offer size is roughly 2,800 crores. The IPO has opened today that is July 25 and will close on July 27. The price band is 1,095 to 1,100. The bid size is 13 and multiples thereof resulting in minimum retail application amount of rupees 14,300. The book value of the AMC uh, was 102.58 as of 31st of March 2018. HDFC AMC operates as a joint venture between HDFC Limited and Standard Life. HDFC held 56.97% stake in the company prior to the IPO, which will fall to 52.92 post the issue. Similarly, Standard Life held 37.98% stake in the company before the issue, which will fall to 30.03% post the issue. So the combined promoter shareholding will fall from 95% pre-issue to about 83% post-issue. Okay. And sir, what are the reservations in this issue? Right. Now, uh, the IPO has portions uh, reserved for various categories. Now, for example, for employees of the AMC, 3.2 lakh shares have been reserved. For employees of HDFC Limited, 5.6 lakh shares have been reserved. For shareholders of HDFC Limited, 24 lakh shares have been reserved. Uh, mind well, there is no reservation for shareholders of HDFC Bank or HDFC Standard Life. Apart from this, we have the usual QIB quota, the HNI quota and the retail quota which is 50%, 15% uh, and 35% of the issue size, uh, the balance issue size of 221 lakh shares. Now, uh, while the uh, investors in category reserved for Employees of AMC or HDFC Limited can apply for up to a maximum of rupees 5 lakhs. Those in the category reserved for HDFC Limited shareholders can apply up to a maximum of rupees 2 lakhs. Multiple applications are liable to be rejected, but this excludes applications by reserved categories in their respective reservation portions as well as that made by them in the net issue portion in the retail public category. Right, sir. Now, what do you think, uh, what are the industry triggers? Right, now Ashish here, uh, see mutual funds have over the last few years emerged as a strong, a strong counterweight to the FIs. So far the Indian uh, stock markets were driven largely by the FIs, but over the last two or three years, mutual funds have emerged as a good, uh, a strong counterweight. Now, the strong inflows into equity mutual funds over the last few years have resulted in this. In fiscal 2018, the net investment by FIs or FPIs in, in the equities was Rs. 256 billion. This compares with mutual funds net investment of Rs. 1.4 trillion. So this is the difference between the two. So in, in fact, last year mutual funds inflow was much bigger than the that by the FIs. Now systematic investment plan invest, uh, investments uh, have also been become very popular over the last two years. The monthly SIP book size has increased from 31.2 billion rupees as of April 2016 to about 71.2 billion in March 2018. So the total number of SIPs constituted about 41% and 26% of the total equity fund flows in fiscal 2017 and 2018 respectively. Now as of uh, Fiscal 2018, that is 31st March 2018, the industry had about 41 players. Crystal research analysis shows that the industry's AUM can grow from Rs 20.6 trillion as of March 2018 to 48.4 trillion by March 2023, which is a 
CAGR of about uh, 18.6%. Consequently, the mutual funds revenues are expected to grow at a CAGR of 25% to around 184 billion by fiscal uh, 2019. Commensurately, the net profit is expected to uh, grow to about 45 billion at a CAGR of 24.3% by fiscal 2019. Investment in financial assets is growing at a fast pace, especially after demonetization, and mutual funds could be a prime beneficiary of this trend. So, can you tell us some key features about the company? Sure. Uh, HDFC AMC has been the most profitable AMC in India in terms of net profits since fiscal 2013 with a total AUM of now uh, 2,919 billion as of 31st of March 2018. It is also the largest asset management company in terms of equity oriented AUM since the last quarter of fiscal 2011 and has consistently been among the top two asset management companies in terms of total AUM. Uh, since uh, August 2008. So it has been either the first or among the first two largest uh, AMC companies in India over the, since 2008 onwards. As of 31st March 2018, it had a total number of live accounts of 8.1 million and its monthly average AUM from individual customers, which is much more sticky than the, uh, the large wholesale or corporate accounted for 62% of its AUM compared to the industry average of 51.4% for the same period according to Chrysil. Its AUM has grown at a compounded rate of 25.5% between FY13 and FY18. Proportion of equity oriented AUM to total AUM has been 51.3% which is higher than the industry average of 43% for FY18. As of uh, if, as of 31st March 2018, its market share in the total AUM, industry AUM was 13.7% and in actively managed equity AUM was 16.8% among all asset management companies in India. As of uh, 31st of March 2018, the AMC served customers in over 200 cities through its Pan India network of 209 branches and service centers of its uh, registrar and transfer agents which is supported by a strong and diversified network of 65,000 plus MPNL distribution partners across India. The, uh, the AMC is one of the few players which is best positioned to capture the high growth potential of India's mutual fund industry which is under penetrated as compared to the developed nations. India's mutual fund AUM is just 11% of its GDP compared to world average of 62%. So we have a long way to go. HDFC AMC has uh, the most stable investment team of 26 members with average work experience of 17 years and a lowest attrition rate. So this broadly summarizes uh, the uh, key features of the company. Right, sir. Any specific concerns about the company, if you can let us, let our viewers know? Yeah, uh, there are some concerns which are broadly industry related rather than the company related. For example, adverse market fluctuations or adverse economic conditions. Now, these are the, these are the key uh, concern areas for the industry. Secondly, if the AMC's investment products underperform in terms of performance vis-a-vis -vis the other AMC's, then uh, its a AUM can decline and profitability can get impacted. Uh, its uh, AUM's growth may be impacted if uh, due to unavailability of appropriate investment opportunities or if it closes or discontinues some of its schemes, products or services. Failure to continue with its existing distribution arrangements or uh, secure new distribution relationships may impact uh, the growth in the revenue and profits. Uh, the, the AMC may not be able to implement its uh, growth strategies. Uh, the AMC is dependent on the strength of its own brand and reputation as well as the brand and reputation of uh, its two key promoters HDFC Limited and Standard Life Investments. Uh, and last but not the least regulatory changes and heightened competition are some of the other risks that the company faces. And at what valuations has the IPO been offered? 
Sure. Uh, HDFC AMC has an established track record of delivering a robust financial performance. Its total revenue has increased over the last four years at a CAGR of 19.9% and the profit has also grown by 19.2% over the same period. The return on net worth has been uh, more than 40% since F514 uh, till now. On an equity capital of 105.2 crores, the face value is 5 rupees. Uh, the company earned an EPS of 34.3 in FY18. At the IPO price of 1100, the company is valued on a PE basis at 32.1 times FY18 EPS and 10.7 times FY18 book value. Its peer, uh, Reliance Nippon Asset Management Company, quotes at a PE of 26 times FI18 EPS, uh, while its RONW or return on equity is much lower at 22.8%. The HDFC AMC, if uh, the IPO passes through, uh, sales through, will get a valuation of 23,161 crores and get a valuation of close to 7.5% of its asset under management of roughly 3.07 lakh crores. Right, sir. Thank you so much for this uh, valuable information, sir. Right. Now, Ashish, uh, why don't you uh, sort of show, uh, show our participants how easy it is to apply uh, for the IPO through our mobile? Sure, sir. Definitely. Uh, first, let me tell you, we have three options available for our investors. They can do it from mobile application. They can do it uh, from website and they can do it by calling up our central dealing desk as well. Okay. So now first I will show how through mobile because from mobile it is just three clicks and you are done. So over to my mobile screen now and I will show you how to place this order through mobile because this was the most awaited questions back to back the questions customers are asking that how to place order, how to place order. So let me show you that. Now over to my computer screen. So once you enter your login credentials, that's your username, password and date of birth. This is how the logged in section looks like. You just have to click on this more option which you can see on the extreme bottom right. Okay. In that, you can see this section as IPO. First section is of trading. Second section which starts from mutual fund and then IPO. So you just need to click on IPO. Once you click on IPO, so this is your first click by selecting the IPO dashboard. Here you can see the options available. So you can see the Second option, HDFC Asset Management Company General. So this is for all our retail customers who are not falling under the category of employee or a shareholder. Right? The second option is for HDFC AMC IPO for HDFC Limited and HDFC AMC Employee. So this is for the employees. And the last one is for the HDFC Limited shareholders. Right? Now, if you want to apply only for one lot at the cutoff price, so you just have to click on quick apply. I'm going in the general category. The moment I click on quick apply, one lot at cutoff price is by default selected. All I have to do is just click on confirm and my order will be placed. Now at this point of time, the systems are on cooling period. So it will be uh, up again after five o'clock. Right? And on the last day, definitely we, we won't be having any cooling period. So this is how simple it is placing order through mobile application in just three simple clicks. Now, in case if any of our participants wants to change the lot size, they want to go for higher lot or they want to apply for from retail category to HNI, less than 2 lakh would be retail category. Investment amount more than 2 lakhs will be HNI category. Let me show you how you can do that. So if you want to change the bid lot size, you just have to click on this option of edit. And from here, you can update the lot size that you want to go for one lot or you want to go for two lots. Just click on it. Automatically, the quantity would be double and you click on save. Price would be revised here. So instead of 14,300, now it has come to 28,600. Similarly, if you want to change your category from retail to HNI, for that you have to click on this option. And right here, you can see IND retail. So from you click, you get a drop down and from here you can select HNI. So the moment you click HNI and select, by default, your lot size has been revised and your price starts from 2,200,000. So this is how simple it is 
placing order from mobile application whether it may be quick apply or it may be normal apply it is very user friendly anytime anywhere you can access this and you can uh, take more informed decision now let me show you on our website where you can find the faqs the frequently asked questions that most of our investors have been asking so i will show you for that you just have to log into our website hdfcsec.com on the home page only you would see the banners so the first banner is of hdfc amc ipo you just have to click on no more again a detailed information is given here what are the issue details why hdfc amc few videos few testimonials and apply now so you come scroll down the window and why to invest in hdfc amc ipo under this only you will find any queries read faq you click on read faq a detailed list of few questions would be appeared here which will give you an idea of about the reservations which deepak sir have just informed what is your investment amount in each category followed by the other basic question and answers so that's that's all viewers thank you so much for joining today's exclusive webinar thank you so much deepak sir for addressing our viewers and giving us the insight that why we should invest in uh, hdfc mc ipo thank you for participating